Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to How to Make Among Us. Uh, this is part five. And uh, today we're going to be making better collisions and uh, improving, uh, like making a sort of lighting system and uh, making the layers properly. Like you can see the use button is hidden. Oh yeah, and I also added some tables here to make things look better. So if you wanna add like art, um, you need to do that in your map because you want to be able to collide with them. Um, yeah, so I added some tables in my map. And, uh, yeah, so now we're going to just uh, make a new sprite and call it Hitbox. So this, like, if you can see right here, the tables, my player is literally getting stuck on the tables and that's because we don't have a hitbox that's properly functioning right now so you just want to take this costume of your player and paste it into your hitbox like that now you just want to make a any color square about as big as this and then just get rid of that and um now this code here uh yeah um so we can set so in the hitbox we can do one flag clicked set size to 30 because that's the size of our player and then Forever go to player. Go to well, red guy. I name him red guy. And it it's still it, it looks kind of weird here. Um, so that's why we can add first of all a go to front layer. Then we can add a go backward, like ten layers, I guess. And that will keep it hidden from you. And for the map now, we can um, do if touching hitbox instead of the red guy. And now it'll be actually kind of better. Oh, wait, what? All right, either it's the hitbox, is it? Uh, maybe we can make it go back like five layers. Who knows? Okay. In the player, let's add a forever go to front layer. I mean, you can clearly see the hitbox right there. Oh, there we go. I just didn't click the green flag again. But it really, it doesn't get stuck on costumes that easily now. Um, we can definitely improve this. What happens if I hide it? We can still collide if we hide it. Okay, we can. not I thought we could, cause I was making a granny game and you could still collide when Sprites were hidden. It was so weird. But I'm going to move this thing up a little bit so it's not visible. And for if touching hitbox. Is it touching the hitbox? Because I don't think it is. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Well, the collisions are working better. I mean, you're not getting stuck as easily. But now for the use button. There has to be this go to front layer. Like, we just need a whole space for a go to front layer. See, it's changing layers. Like, in the next, uh, okay. We just have to double click the green flag, I guess. And that will place the use button properly. Oh, and what I'm going to do to my map. Oh, God, no. Okay, what I'm going to do to my map art is I'm going to make no outline in for the missions. Because, uh, well, I guess I could do it to the missions because we need to know where our map is. Oh, no, just the outline there. So now that we have our hitbox working, let's add a light system. Like, you know how sometimes if the um, imposter sabotages, then, um, okay. First of all, I detect a problem with the hitbox. I'm going to move it up more because um, you can see it in the player's legs. So, okay, now that our collision system is working a little bit properly now, we will um, work on lighting, like I said before. So, we're going to paint a new sprite, and it's just going to be a plain square. So, just, it doesn't even have to be perfect. Like, like that, yeah. Now, you can um, uh, go to this. So, in the fill tool... You want to go to this thing right here that has like that little circle and you should get these two options. So over here, we're going to add some white. So we're going to make this color white. We're going to make this color black. And then you're just going to fill this in like that. Now you want to do when flag clicked, hide. Well, before you put the hide in there, you want to add a set ghost effect and then experiment with it. Like, if it's 50, you can still see everything. So, what if I also set the brightness effect? Oh, wait. Let's set this to 25 here. Uh, harder to see, but not looking too good. So, what if I set the brightness... Uh, so like 25 or something. Negative 25. Okay, okay. That is looking a lot better, but it looks very weird. So, if I had a go to front layer, everything is like literally going to front layer. And this should be like negative 50. That kind of makes it harder to see. What if I just do negative 75? You should experiment with this. I honestly, um, like, yeah, I I'm going to go with this. Set ghost effect and set brightness effect. So ghost effect to 50 and brightness effect to negative 25. This is, I, I don't know how many layers this has, but there's a lot of go to front layer. Like the map is going to front layer. If you guys didn't do that already, the map is on front layer. Yeah. So go to front layer. And then when I receive, well, okay. When I receive um, lights off, so, whenever she lights off, show. There. So, now, if you broad... Wait, and then forever, and then we also need to add a go to zero, zero. 
So when I receive lights off, show. And I guess this sort of works. Uh, but it doesn't work as well as I want it to. So I guess the inside of this, I'm going to make a little bit like a dark gray. Then I can set like the ghost effect to like 40 or something. I don't know how much of a, okay. No, I don't know what's wrong here. Maybe let's just set it back to white. And not, okay, it's getting confused on the layer. I think that's why we need to click the green flag like 10 times. Okay, okay, okay. This is very weird. What is happening? <laughs> okay, forever go with the front layer, okay. We're, we might change this to like just one flag click to go to front layer, front layer. And that fixes the problem. Good. Okay. So. I guess that's it. Uh, we made better collisions. And we have good light and we have a lighting system. One more thing I want to try before we go, or before I end the video, is, um, so if I can find the mission here, I want to, okay, wait, see, our layers are not perfectly done. I want you to show here. Okay, well, it's going to front here. Now, the map art, I guess, no, the mission, the map. I guess you could add a go to back layer. Honestly, um, I don't know what difference that might make on this. Well, but if you add that, it doesn't get as glitchy and the map looks normal. And, oh uh, God, where is the mission? I am so confused right now. It's, it, it's right here, I think. It's still not here. It disappeared. There. All right, if we add a forever go to front layer, that doesn't work. But if we add a one fly click to go to front layer, that doesn't work either. Oh God, this is not good. Well, um, okay, well, all right, it sort of works. You know, it actually does work. Okay, it works, I don't know what's happened. I don't know what was wrong. But, guys, that is it for this video. And if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. So, peace out.